Otter team is killing it. We are so close to the finish line. What I'm most excited about is the way it's looking. Release the otters. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. All right, guys, it's day three. Uh, it's been kind of a whirlwind. Last night we met up with all the CACs that you can see are currently here now in the otter exhibit. Today's goal is really to try to finish rocking in the rest of this pond, explain everything we've done to all the people that weren't here for the first two days, maybe even, maybe even get up into building a waterfall. We'll see how it goes. I would love to get so far ahead of this that we can go help Adam the bear exhibit because he's got an overwhelming amount of work left over there. Either way, I know it's just gonna be a ton of fun. I know most of the people here, I recognize almost everybody. We've got a lot of talent, certified aquascape contractors all coming together for an awesome place, awesome animals. This is gonna be a fun one. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. You ready to go today? Yeah. We are gonna be working on two different features today. We're gonna to have two teams of people. You can go back and forth between the two, and by tomorrow afternoon, we will have completed water features. This is gonna be a lot of fun. The goal is to network. There's not a single stranger here. Talk to anybody, ask any question you have, and let's have a lot of fun today, guys. is we're uh, digging out a trench in order to go ahead and lock this liner and this concrete cloth in so the otters don't actually come in and disturb it. It's gonna be like a landslide where they're gonna be able to come in and enter the pond easily. We're getting into the intake bay here, just kind of figuring out um, how do we keep a cool shape without sucking down the intake bay so much. So here, I think we're gonna try to keep this as a peninsula. So that means the next rock should actually come back here a little bit more. So this looks like it really sweeps like this. On this side, I think it'd be fun because we're doing so much with these logs. to actually bring a log out over the top of this. And I'm hoping one of those otters thinks of it as a diving board and jumps off down to the deep end. Well, no diving, because it's only three feet deep. So it never disappoints. Everybody just like a busy ant hill, not only here, but at the other belt. Now this one's tight, obviously, with the access, and you always gotta think about the animals. I had no idea that these are piranhas with fur, as Amy said, the zookeeper. So it'll be very interesting to see how they're doing all of the little detail work so that those piranhas with fur can't get to any of the mechanics or the liner or anything else. Cutting this area, our water level is going to be much lower. But on this side, we have the valves for the pump and the otters. They're going to get inside and they're going to mess everything up. And we don't want that to happen. And we want it to be accessible for everybody when they're cleaning it out. So we're lowering the dirt area to get it to the proper height. Brian's bringing in a nice big flat rock. So we're not taking up too much volume or space in the area. And we're setting this down. So we're trying to level this out, set the brick in, clear the boulder in. And then we're going to clean up the edges so it looks more natural.
had a blast so far. I've been bouncing back and forth between the otter and the bear exhibit uh, just to try to soak up as much knowledge as possible. But I've had a, an awesome time so far. I've met a lot of really cool people and, and I've already learned a lot. Everybody's been really cool, welcoming. You know, I, one thing I love about these builds is nobody's a stranger. You know, there are some people that I don't necessarily know their names, but you talk to them like your neighbors. You know, everybody's just real tight. We are a tribe and it's really cool and uh, kind of uplifting to be around people who are like-minded and have very similar interests as you. So we're moving actually pretty quick around here. We're actually working on the waterfall right now on the, the pond, so we're moving right along. Oh, Otter team is killing it. We're doing so good. Minus the progress we're at, what I'm most excited about is the way it's looking. Aesthetically, it looks so awesome. Uh, we have an awesome team. Lots of great questions. There's some new guys, so I always like the new guys, the new questions. So we're going over intake bays, we're going over folding liners. We're doing well. I haven't heard anything though about uh, Bear Team over here. So let's go find Ed and see what uh, they're up to. Rumor has it that you're feeling behind, but the way I look at it, like you look, you're looking really good. <laughs> it looks really, like, it actually looks really good to me. It, Last time I was over here, I saw a rock going over a log. Yes. And it looks great. Like, <laughs> they're right there. They're right there. It's, we're gonna have water going in here today. We will have water in there today. So are we. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna shoot to get ours done today then. Do so it. we can come help you. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. The bear otter team. It's not one against the other. Bolts Nursery bringing the aquatic plants. Can you say, I love my job? I love my job. <laughs> Thank you, brother. We are so close to the finish line. We drained and rinsed it one more time. We got all that dirty water out. You can see everybody's busy, busy. I think everybody else is excited to see this thing running. We are literally like within 45 minutes of this thing being done. And then we can go help Ed, because I think he's got maybe an hour and a half. <laughs> well, here we go, almost ready to release the otters. All right, guys, we're gonna go turn on the otter one. You get it? The otter one. <laughs> I'm 
not even full of tears a few times. I think we're both a little delirious. Uh, like, it doesn't uh, feel like it's only been two days. Because <laughs> it's been five. We came in Monday night. Yep. We worked Tuesday. All uh, day. All day. We worked Wednesday. All, all day. day. Then everybody came in. Wednesday night. Wednesday we, night. They, they helped us Thursday we and worked, today. We played all night. Right? <laughs> I just absolutely love it. We had an oh. awesome team. I think everybody came together, not just for this, but like everybody was going back and forth, right. back and forth, yeah. helping and helping and helping. Yep. Like always, we can't do this without our certified no. aquascape contractors. Yeah, no, it would be impossible. Um, you know, I mean, just and watching that transformation in that short period of time, it's just always, it just yeah. always blows us away. And we've done thousands of these things. Thousands. Like thousands. Because we've literally done thousands of these things, yeah. the rewarding part is doing it for people like Kristen oh and gosh. Amy and their entire staff. I mean, the fact that they're jumping, jumping in the water. Jumping in the water. Right. And, you know, giving us their heartfelt, you know, uh, yeah. thoughts and mm -hmm. feelings about it. You know, it was, it was moving. Bringing a water feature to life like this, it transforms the space. And yeah. this is completely different. They have water features at every exhibit here, but this one, right by the main exit, I guarantee people are gonna be lining up just like all of them, watching the otters play, but right. it's gonna be in right a now, it doesn't matter system. if there's otters. No, it doesn't right? even matter. Pretty cool I mean, water I, absolutely, <laughs> creating an environment where the animals could actually interact with the water the way they're intended. I mean, they, they have evolved over thousands of years to live in this, yeah. not in a tub. We got pretty lucky. Um, like we come out here kind of with the unknown. We don't yep. really know the rock we're gonna work with. We yep. have no idea that there's gonna be all these cool logs and right. different things. We didn't know about the wall stone. And, and uh, so the fact that we were able to recycle so much stuff yeah. that they had back there yeah. and be able to use it in a uh, you know aesthetically pleasing way like turned out really nice. Looking forward to hearing from Kristen and Amy and what uh, all the donors Think yep. of it because they have a big oh, event tomorrow, tomorrow right? <laughs> yeah. And so we were a little pressured. <laughs> it's better a, look good. A lot pressured. And given the fact that everything had to go through that one opening. If it were easy, crazy. everybody would do it, so right? True. So, so true. And it's not. And we got through it and, yeah. and uh, awesome people to do it for. I love, I love when we do these collaboration things and we get people like Chris and Amy that just truly appreciate it. Right. What an experience, such an awesome, awesome experience. I remember in the beginning being jealous that Ed was doing the bear thing, but I'm so happy he let me build my first pond for otters. All the certified aquascape contractors, our CACs, we came together, Team Otter just destroyed it. And you know how I know it destroyed it? Because Tears of joy from Amy and Kristen. The otters jumping in and out. They continue to play with it. I just keep looking at them playing with it over there. Everybody just loves it. And so it was a huge success. Uh, I want to thank you, Ed, for letting me do my first otter pond. I'm glad I finished early so I could help you on yours. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Kristen and Amy and the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. I know this is the beginning of a beautiful, beautiful friendship. And we have one last thing to do. Otter Pond done in January. I think we can get rid of this sign. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Thanks for watching. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your favorite part. What do you think of the Otter Pond? If you're ever down here in Florida, Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, make sure you stop by. See you soon. Bye.